We are checking things off our CT summer bucket list just over the line in Massachusetts once again. Margo is going to new heights. She is returning to the scene of the crime where she uh, <laughs> freaked She's out very famously a long time ago, but yeah, doing good. She's eating on the ride. I mean, oh, is... Yeah, Tim, you challenged me to six churros. That's absolutely not happening. But I did eat a giant donut. Oh no. Still chewing. Oh no. And at 2.9 G-forces, I think I'm gonna regret this decision and Molly behind me might become a victim of whatever might come back up out of my mouth. So this ride, we're going um, about 25 miles an hour, which like doesn't sound like that much, but when you're upside down, yeah. about seven floors up in the sky at an 80 degree angle, it really is something different. And oh, there goes that donut, okay, yeah. Tim, I, there was no way I was doing six churros. Oh my God. Oh, I knew I was gonna regret that one. See, there's that feeling, that G-force feeling. I was asking them what that was, and that's like when it pushes down on your chest, and I feel like my mouth is getting a bit closed. Like that, like if you leave your mouth open, you quite literally feel like the world is pushing up against you. Oh gosh. Tim, how's that? I ate the donut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the I eating that would have impressed me. It's the keeping it down, Margo. Are so you... far, so oh, good. Don't jinx her. <laughs> I know. We're, the ride's not done. It's 90 seconds here at Six Flags. They've been making the rides longer and longer. Oh, good. That's a little bit of stabilization there. I think, oh, no, now they're wobbling. No, it's not stable at all. Okay, so <laughs> this ride is fun, guys. But I will say it's not for the uh, folks who have a light stomach. Mm. Although I did just successfully make it yeah. make it out alive without vomiting on Molly. Molly, we, we made it. We made it, Molly. <laughs> uh, Tim, that's the last thing I'm putting in my mouth this morning. I'm not eating another thing before the next uh, ride. <laughs> yeah, so you did good, though. We are rooting for you to be safe and vomit free. I mean, for the most part. Although I have to say, yeah, there is know. a period of time after the ride that's still a little iffy. <laughs> I was on a ride you know, at Disneyland Erica, with my I'm sister one time. I'm not thinking about that yet. <laughs> I'm not thinking about that yet. My feet don't, the, your feet hang off the bottom of the ride. So uh, my feet have not touched, I was gonna say dry land, but it's all dry land. Uh, my feet have not touched the ground yet. So I'll test that theory in just a few <laughs> minutes when I get out and walk, we'll see how well I do.